Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and join my YouTube family. I will also throw my Instagram name up on the screen. So today is part four of my little mini series I have going on with the vault collection from Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. I have one more video coming and it'll be a look using the original Jaclyn Hill palette. But I'm coming at you guys again without an intro or an outro. So we're just jumping right into the look. As you guys can see, I use the Milani Prime Light Face Primer. And now it is a Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Day with the definer and the clear brow gel. This is the shade taupe. So I will have my other looks from this series down below in the description box, but as you guys can see today we're jumping into dark magic. This palette is absolutely beautiful. It has such beautiful green, brown, cool tones. I love it so much. First I concealed my eyelids with my Smashbox concealer in the shade Fair. And then I took the cool tone light brown shade which is called Shh and put that in my crease. And to highlight my brow bones and my very inner corners, I use the matte cream shade, which is called Poof. I added some more of my transition shade just to deepen up that crease. And then I jumped into the beautiful green matte shade, which is called Potion. I put this all over my lid at first, but then I started kind of winging it out. It's not like a regular typical wing. It's actually one with just like a very straight line through my crease. You guys can kind of see from me working at it, but I just kept building up the pigment on that. And when I got it the way I wanted to, I did run a little bit more of the cool tone brown shade in my crease to clean up the edges, but I still wanted to keep it very dramatic and sharp into my face products, I use my Maybelline Superstay Foundation in the shade 110 Porcelain. I also used my Smashbox Studio Skin Concealer in the shade Fair again for over my foundation to cover my blemishes and my under eyes, all of that. And then setting powder today, I went into the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. To bronze up my face a little bit, I went into the bronzer from Pixie Beauty in the shade Summertime. For blush, I used the Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brighten in the shade Tropic Hues. And for highlight, I'm not even sure what this is called. It is just from Glam Glow, the skincare brand. It is their highlighting palette. I mixed the white and the middle shade together for my cheeks and like the high points in my forehead and down my nose. But then I went over my nose with just the middle shade and I used that on my Cupid's bow as well. To finish off this look, I went into the matte green potion shade and ran that along my lower lash line. I curled my lashes before I put on my mascara. Of course, I sat my face with the ColourPop All Star Setting Spray. And then I threw on some Butter London Double Decker Lashes Mascara. And for lips, I went into the beautiful Army Green Velour Liquid Lipstick from Jeffree Star Cosmetics in the shade Karma. So beautiful. It's like identical to this eyeshadow shade that I have on my lid. So the look paired together so well. It's very like pleasing to look at together. I don't really know if this is an ideal look you would want to wear out or if you did this eyeshadow look you might want to pair it with a nude or do more of a subtle eye look and then do the bold green lip but I personally love them both together. They're so beautiful and that pretty much wraps up this whole look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry that I again I don't have an intro or an outro. I'm working on it. I was really busy around this time and now I'm catching up on my editing. So you guys will see me more in intros and outros coming up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this makeup look and I will see you in my next video. Bye.